I'm Charlie Sharp. We're live on the red carpet as Nations Fire with the head honcho, the director himself. Thomas Churchill. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, Thomas, I was reading an interesting bio. So, New York, Central Park. Fred Williamson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fred Williamson was my first celebrity that I ever met, uh, who happens to be not in this film. He, he was in another film I did called Checkpoint. Uh -huh. uh, but Fred Williamson was the first celebrity that I ever met uh, in uh, Central Park, New York. My dad used to take me to the park uh, to, to, you know, while my mom made dinner and everything else on Sundays and just to, you know, get away and all. And uh, we found some uh, good people in Central Park. Fred Williamson was one of them, the hammer. Fun. Who's a dear friend right now? Fun, fun. So when you're st when you're st storytelling, what's your process? Do you have to lock yourself in the room? Do you go somewhere? What, what do you, I'm always curious how everybody you know story tells. Um, it depends. You know, uh, I've worked with Chris DeGrotti Saxton on uh, this is our tenth project together. Uh, there's a lot of people in the film that I've worked with over the years. One of them is uh, someone that's coming on this carpet behind you, Kelly Ryder. Uh, we've done uh, several films together. My process is, if I'm going to write for somebody, uh -huh. I, I, see, I see them in the role and I just start writing. Or I'll keep seeing something over and over inside my head. And then I'll get up in the middle of the night, write a little note, write a little note. And then when I feel like the film is ready to come out of my head, I'll, do, uh, I'll sit at the computer. I'll figure out w where I want to shoot it, what's the storyline with it. Uh, what type of music, and then I'll end up throwing the music on uh, okay. for that, whether it's southern rock or country, and I'll let that flow, and I'll start writing. Um, Nation's Fire is very dear to me. It's very personal. Yeah. Um, it, it, came, it came from uh, a few things. One of them, uh, a lot of things my dad taught me, um, kind of like when you're writing, you write subconsciously of everything you know. Sure. So... Bruce Dern in this film is kind of like yeah. all about my dad. Yeah. So, quick question: Do you have any? Do you have a Harley yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the funny thing: as much as I I'd love the motorcycles and I'd love to learn learn how to ride, I am the only Churchill. I mean, my whole family rides that yeah. doesn't ride. Wow. And when I first wrote the script and I gave it to Krista and some of our other producers, they wanted to know who helped me write it because it was so authentic with bikers. I just did my research and, you know, I, I never I never rode, no. Awesome, awesome. Sorry. <laughs> I wish I did. It looks fun. Shout out your socials. Where can we go? Because I know there's more stuff coming down. You're a busy guy. Um, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm grateful and I'm blessed. Uh, people can find me. Uh, they can Google Thomas J. Churchill. I'm Facebook, uh, Instagram. The website is Churchill Productions. You can go to Nations Fire, the movie. Uh, learn more about all of us. Uh, Nations Fire comes out officially January 21st. VOD, DVD, everywhere worldwide through Vision Films. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Vision. Awesome. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.